This is Joy with Sub Rosa Tea, and welcome to Tea Time on Tuesdays at 2. Today's video, I am going to dive in to the Fountain of Youth. Are you searching for the Fountain of Youth? Have you given much thought to your health, well being, and longevity? In today's Tea Time on Tuesday, I'll reveal why it may just be a small, hot fountain that you've been looking for. We have a staff member who tells everyone who will listen that he plans to live to be 109 years old. Now, if you have the time and you ask him when he has the time, he will tell you very specifically why that number is the number that he has calculated. 109 years old. I don't know that I'm going to live quite that long, but it's a goal. It's definitely something that he wants to achieve and he's quite serious about it. Do you know anyone who's over 100? I actually have someone in my life who's very close to me who is in his 90s and he is fabulous. I absolutely love talking to him. He has a very clear mind. He's very articulate. I love hearing about his life and all that he's gone through and why he feels like he has lived such a good healthy life to such a nice healthy robust number. So it's really interesting to me when I do research like this for our tea videos, all the fabulous information that has been gathered by people who, is, who have come before us. I love being in this industry. I love that not only is it possible to alter your lifestyle right now, but it could actually mean a better result for your life in the future. Oh, I just love it. Did you know that tea has been linked to numerous health benefits, including a reduced risk of heart attacks, lowering your blood pressure, and it, tea even has the potential to protect against certain cancers. Does that sound too good to be true? Does the fountain of youth sound too good to be true? Oh, you guys. Oh, it's just so amazing how this beautiful, tea plant has so many health benefits. So one study in particular has shown that the biological effects of the beverage may actually extend to the genetic level. Can you imagine that? That drinking what's in your cup? Drinking a cup of tea could actually be something that changes your DNA? Isn't that incredible? Oh, I just love it. So it's actually very interesting how the role of disease susceptibility and overall health goes all the way down to your DNA, how your DNA responds, how you respond genetically to something that's going on, and how an external force like drinking tea could actually help. There's something really interesting that I kind of wanted to break down super quick so you know what I'm talking about. In a lot of these tea time videos, I talk about antioxidants. I think a lot of people just take it for granted. Oh, low tea has antioxidants. That's great. But what does that mean? What are we talking about? And why? Why do we even care? Why do we need? Why do people tell us we need to have antioxidants? So one of the specific antioxidants and polyphenols in tea are catechins. I'm going to take a minute just to say something that I've said before. Did you know that loose leaf tea is 10 times healthier for you than tea bag tea. Some studies say even more, more like 14 or 15 times healthier than tea bag tea is for you. So not all tea is created equally. So when I'm talking about those health benefits and people say, well, why? What are you talking about? How could loose leaf tea be healthier than tea bag tea? And this is what I am talking about. This is the whole leaf. Loose leaf tea is the whole leaf, and you can get that in your cup by buying loose leaf tea. The catechins and the antioxidants in tea bag tea just aren't as numerous. Also, the ability to extract them from tea bag tea. Did you know that what is in a tea bag is literally called dust and fannings? Who wants to drink that? Oh, not me. Just the thought of it. I love the idea that a beautiful whole leaf still has all of all of the original properties that it had when it was growing. And so when I steep it, I get to consume those and that it could actually contribute to my youth. How long I live. Oh, I love it. 
So anyway, back to some science. So tea has antioxidants. Why do we want those? What are they doing and how does this affect how long we live? Let me tell you. It is said that all of us have things called free radicals and free radicals are just, um, let's say, cells that are kind of hanging out by themselves. But when they get together, let's say it's not all bad. Um, let's say like if all of us got together and we had a tea party, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing now, would it? No, I think it'd be kind of fun. So we're not worried if they get together. But what if the group becomes a mob? What if they start acting erratically, um, dangerously? erratically, dangerously, and they start causing you problems. That's when most people know that something is wrong. So a group of cells, a lot of us have that. And do you know that a group of cells is normally called cancer? That's what cancer is. It's a group of cells, free radicals that have gotten together. And we normally don't even know that we have a cancer until we have a symptom, until we know, until we feel something is going on and we report it to a medical professional. But some scans nowadays, gotta love modern medicine, can actually find those groups of cells. They can be seen on a scan, even if you don't have any outward symptoms. So do you know what tea does? Do you know what the antioxidants in tea does? It grabs the free radicals before they become a mob and they can grab those free radicals and get them flushed out of your system. Yay. How simple is that? A cup of tea. That sounds easy to me, right? Is it that easy? Can we really live longer by drinking tea? Let me tell you, numerous studies have shown the answer is yes. There's only so many hours in the day. How many tea, how many cups of tea do we need to drink? Well, it's not that bad, friends. It really isn't. Most studies show that you're going to get some health benefits from drinking in between two to five cups a day. And it's true. I think a lot of uh, my customers come up to me and specifically tell me that they've read or they've heard that green tea is the healthiest for you. And it's kind of interesting. You'll see in some of my other videos, I kind of explain that a little bit more, that all tea comes from one plant and we process it to make it black, oolong, green, and white tea. White tea has even more antioxidants than green tea does. I think green tea is just talked about more because it is more prevalent in the industry. It is easier to access it in general, especially tea bag teas. You can almost get, you can almost always get a green tea bag tea, but a white tea is a little more rare. We have sold them for years at Sub Rosa Tea. I am a fanatic. I absolutely love white tea and I want you to love them too. So if you haven't tried them, please make sure you put some in your cart next time. We have little samples. You give them a try. But anyway, back to the science. So all the good stuff that tea has can literally help you if you drink somewhere between two and five cups a day. They are definitely recommending that it be hot steeped. You could cold steep, you know that you can. You can always cold steep our tea for iced tea. But if you're very specifically looking for the health benefits, the studies, the research is showing. Honestly, I gotta tell you, the research is more dedicated to hot tea. It just plain old is. I don't think there has been as many numerous studies over the long term based on cold steeped method. So can't say for sure on that, but they are definitely hot tea. I will also say what's so interested is, is how both behavior and environment can trigger chemical modifications in the body, which affect how the genes turn on and off. So I think that's really interesting. They're calling it epigenetics that it's it's really very specific so what they're specifically saying especially for women so listen up tea drinking for women is associated with literally 28 different gene regions 
in women that are known to interact with both cancers and estrogen metabolism. Like I just said, cancer is kind of just a group of cells. It's not necessarily something that's causing you any harm at that moment. So if T can affect, if your body's reaction can be more enhanced and more specifically targeted to reducing any negative effects that you're going to feel because you're drinking tea. How great is that? There's a really fascinating project that was just recently done. You might have already heard about it called the Blue Zone that a researcher did oh, almost two decades worth of work. Very specifically, he called some a certain regions on the globe blue zones, covering a couple of continents, looking at all of the factors in, in a person's life, including their marital status and how much they exercised and the food that they consumed. And he called it the blue zone and he was specifically talking about the lifestyle, the secrets in the lifestyle of these community members. How did these communities in the blue zone get more people living past 100 years old? Guess what was common, folks? Yes, hot tea drinking, yes. Now keep in mind that a lot of these regions, they just naturally gravitate towards tea. It, 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 um, a lot of them are where tea is grown, so it is definitely easy accessible. I've talked about this before. Tea doesn't grow in the United States. That's just the way it is, the actual tea plant. Um, technically you can grow it, you can, but the tea plant really thrives with more elevation and more rainfall than we get. So traditionally, to mass produce tea, it is grown elsewhere other than the U.S. So U.S. just hasn't been the one of the larger tea drinking companies, uh, countries in the world, even though, did you know, tea is like literally the number one most consumed beverage in the world. Seriously, people, the population of the planet, more people drink tea than just drink water. It has a lot to do, again, with their source of water, that they're going to boil their water in order to steep tea, and that the water itself is going to taste better after it's uh, steeped in tea. And that's just the way it is for a lot of people in the country. I just happen to live in a wonderful place where I have great tasting, good for me, healthy drinking water, and I'm very blessed to have that. But I recognize not all humans on the planet do have that option. So that happens to be why, statistically speaking, tea is number one. But that's not all bad. Tea's so healthy for you. And it actually could be the reason why you live a more youthful life now and a longer life as we age. Tea also is known with the catechins. The catechins, the specific type of antioxidants that the tea plant has, also can lower the risk of stroke and heart disease, which might actually be a reason why we live longer because if you don't have a stroke, you have the ability to live longer. One of the more interesting things is as a woman, did you know that we are just being a woman, we are prone to having high blood pressure. Even if you take out the fact that maybe we're uh, overweight or we have other health uh, issues that might happen with women, but that we are actually prone to high blood pressure, which makes me really sad just knowing that. Uh, but high blood pressure is linked to dementia. So if you could do something as simple as adding a couple of cups of tea to your lifestyle to make sure your blood pressure is staying in a nice, low, healthy range, you could actually prohibiting yourself from getting dementia in the future, which again, could make you live longer. How great is that? I love all of the options. I have to say something that I've heard over and over again. It's a really funny saying, but it goes, you won't forget it once you hear me say it. A cheap tattoo, a, a, a cheap tattoo ain't Oh, I'm saying it wrong. Oh my goodness. A good tattoo ain't cheap. 
and a cheap tattoo ain't good. It's the funniest saying. I say it in my head all the time. Not because I have a tattoo or I have anything to do with tattoos, but the same is for tea. Cheap tea isn't good. Does it need to be cheap? Hmm. I don't think so. I think you guys can afford good tasting loose leaf tea with fabulous health benefits. I think you can. We work really hard to make sure that the loose leaf tea that we provide is the freshest, obviously the healthiest, and at an affordable price. We have different qualities of tea and we make sure it is priced just right for your cup. So you too can have all of the wonderful health benefits of tea. Also, I'm gonna have to say, tea doesn't need to taste bad. It doesn't. Tea should not taste like medicine. And I have done other videos on this. It doesn't need to taste this way. I want you to consider making it the way that I have suggested it on our label. Green tea specifically has come up in conversation in this video over the, the time that I've been talking. Green tea really needs steaming water, not boiling. If your water is too hot and you put that over a tender, beautiful green tea leaf, it might get bitter. It might be too grassy. Maybe that's why you don't like it. Make sure you use steaming water. Also, steeping it longer is not going to get you any more antioxidants or health benefits. Only steep it a few minutes. Personally, my personal taste buds, I like green tea right at a minute and a half. Not going to lie. On the package, it does say two to three minutes, which is very the, the standard, the industry standard of what more people like. A little bit longer steep time. But you, again, your taste buds might like it less. Do not leave your green tea leaves in hot water for too long. It's it can taste funky and that's not fun. You're not really gonna drink anything that you don't like. It should taste good. We have plain green tea for those purists who I like plain green tea with a meal. We also have flavored green tea just because it's flavored with maple or citrus or something sweet or mint doesn't negate any of the wonderful health benefits that you're searching out the reason why you're drinking green tea in the first place so thank you thank you for watching today's video and keep in mind that fountain of youth might just be a small hot beverage in your cup see you next time folks bye bye